Beam Engine Drive is one of the coolest racing games ever released and in this video let's find out why. Hey everybody, Leo here, welcome to Cop Gameplay. In this video I'm gonna show you one of the main features of one of the coolest racing games that ever came in. Actually, that's certainly more than a single racing game, that is Beam Engine Drive a car driving simulator. Believe it or not, that's a game from 2013. Yeah, that's already a 11 years old game. Well, actually 10 and a half, let's say so. The first version of it came in August 2013. Obviously, many things have changed since that time. And in this video, I'm gonna show you the reasons that make this game so good. Look at that graphics. Whoa, nice graphics. So let's explore some features in this game and see why it is so good. But first, if you're new to the channel, please make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you won't miss anything on the Cop Gameplay channel. Help me out bros, don't forget to hit the like button and let's go! Well, I'm here in this scenario that I love so much. If you're not new to the Beam Into Drive content, you probably know that there are several modes that can be installed. But in this video, I've uploaded only original content from the game, so you can have the real experience of the original BeamNG content. Here is the test track. This is actually the first car that is loaded up when you open any scenario. And I like the track a lot, it reminds me of the GMC pickup truck. Look at the details of the sun rays reflecting on the chrome parts. That's stunning. The ground texture is beautiful. Unfortunately, you can't run this game in a potato <laughs> computer. It requires a high standard setup, like a good video card, a good processor and of course, at least 16 gigs of RAM to run this game properly. You can ask in the comments my specifications running this game, so be pleased to answer. I'm not actually running it in ultra graphics, but look how beautiful it can be, even not in full graphics, we can see even the smallest details such as the light reflections on the car's surface, the different light behavior and different textures, rubber, plastic, metal, glass, anything look so good in this game. Well, that's New Zealand map and Beam Engine Drive. That's one of the coolest games map. It has a circuit, it has a hydroelectric plant. We'll soon hit the road and see what it gets. Well, I've loaded up some cars here. We have an Autobello Picolina, uh, the red car. We have the beige car that is the Bruca Legram and the silver one inspired by the BMW that is actually in the game, the ETK series. So I'm gonna show you one of the coolest features in Beam Engine Drive. That's actually one of the main reasons that makes it one of the most realistic driving simulator games. Each part in the game works independently, so in a crash that is one of the main fans of BeamNG. BeamNG car crashes is one of the most searched game related content. So when a vehicle crashes, independent parts in the vehicle make all the difference to simulate a realistic crash. We'll see that soon, but still here we can open the trunk, let's open it up as an example. Depending on the vehicle we can actually interact with any part of it, let's put it back. Let's open the door as another example. Oh, we hit the blue truck. I think the owner will certainly want to hit me for that. Quick, let's close it up. Yeah, boy, my bad, my bad. Let's open the other side that's far enough from the other car. For some reason, I've been not been able to open the hook. Not in this car, I don't know why. But never mind, let's hit the road of this car. Let's turn on the engine and let's see what it gets. I'm actually feeling like motor weak hose with this game. Look at this beautiful and detailed interior. So let's accelerate it and whoa, why so much smoke? It seems like someone had lit a cigarette. Must have a parameter to change the smoke intensity in BMG. I uh, don't know where, but I uh, guess there is a parameter. And another reason that makes BMG drive a uh, realistic car driving simulator, the car handling. In this game, you can, for example, actually feel the weight of the car. I'm playing this with a joystick and even so, I can feel the simulated weight of the car. And that's one of the details that turns it a fantastic experience. And if you're wondering why I'm using the left side of the road, 
As I told you, that's a New Zealand map, so driving on the left side as in England and Japan. And by pressing 3 or 4 on the keyboard depending on the vehicle, we can activate the external camera, having a beautiful side of the vehicle. I'll be trying to bring more content in this map since this is one of my favorites in the game. We can feature challenges here such as time attacks in the circuit, cop chases. Yeah, did you think that cop gameplay is a name in the channel for no reason? No, you're wrong. <laughs> you got me, I'm playing. Actually, COP is the short for Contemporary and Old School Productions, my YouTube channel network featuring COP gameplay and COP TV, a music channel, where I post covers and music-related content. The link is in the description if you want to know it. And it's time to have some fun! It's time to have some fun with Uncle Samson. What? No, not with Uncle Samson. Let's accelerate the car at high speed and see what it gets. Okay, I think we're already fast enough. Whoa, it's gonna hit the post pole! Yo, the car was completely destroyed. So here we can actually see each part in the car working independently. The radiator has an independent damage, the bumper has another damage. Actually, in a crash in BMG drive, any part in the car can be hit independently that makes total difference in the realistic car driving simulation. Let's restart this machine so I can show you the AI traffic generator in the game. Well, that's not actually the most sophisticated AI feature in a game, it actually sometimes gets some glitches, being actually one of the few comps in BMG and I'm gonna show you why. I'll turn on the AI traffic generator and let's see what happens. Look! Look! And I didn't activate the chase mode! Man, that's funny and insane. Let's restore the car one more time, let's get out of here. Well, I think... Although the bots in the game are still not good enough, as I told you, Beam Engine Drive is a game in continuous evolution. I think the development team is working hard to improve these features and soon that will be updated. That's actually one of the other reasons that makes Beam Engine Drive an amazing game, the continuous evolution. And to finish, let's make something different. Let's actually hit a car in a road, creating a realistic car crash and BMG drive. Let's simulate the following situation. Our hasty driver is late to work. He will overtake at high speed, but he ends up colliding with a vehicle in the opposite lane of the road. Check it out. Yo, the cars merged! They're completely destroyed! Tell me in the comments, would you survive in a crash like that? That's why I say don't be a hasty driver, drive safely! So that's it, I hope you had enjoyed the video, please, if you liked it, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and make sure to hit the notification bell. So you won't miss any daily posts on COD gameplay, help me out bros, share this content with your friends, see you in the next video, goodbye!